Hello, I'm Atuba George, and I'm so blessed, praise God, to be bringing God's truth to you. Can we pray? Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, your word is sweet, and it brings blessing to our hearts. And Lord, today everyone listening and, and watching, burdens are being lifted from them, yokes are being destroyed right now. If there is a burden of sickness or heaviness in your heart. I pray right now that the joy of the Lord fills your heart right now. Holy Spirit, I ask that you visit them. Visit this one with a heavy heart right now. And restore joy in them. Yes, yes, Lord, I, I, I ask for this. Restore joy. Lord, I am not asking that you send an angel right now. I'm asking that you visit them and restore joy in their hearts. Thank you, Lord, because you would do it. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Man, praise God. Now, I'm talking to you about how to end the year. So, yes, I was talking about, talking about keeping God's laws and keeping his testimonies. Now, I did an explanation of what that means to you yesterday. Now, listen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You know, I just, I just prayed a prayer that God should restore your joy. Because, because when, when I was praying, I, I saw someone who's really uh, getting into depression, something like that because of some events and things that have happened. So when I was praying, I said, Lord, don't send an angel, do it yourself. Because as I was praying, I remembered an experience I had several years ago. And I was, I was, someone had done something that I, I was really, I was upset, I was all mixed emotions, but it was getting me down. And I went before the Lord and I, and I began to pray. I said, Lord, you can't let this happen. You, you can't let this person get away with this. Because I couldn't go attack the person. <laughs> I had to turn to the one who's my stronghold. And I began to pray. I was angry. You know how that moment you want fire, to, you just want to hear the news that fire came down and consumed somebody. <laughs> I was that angry. And then I went before the Lord and I was praying and praying. And suddenly, I, I heard the Lord walk into my room. So, so I knew he was there. I mean, I could actually tell you where he was in the room. So I, I, I okay, he's here. He wants to say something. So let me be quiet and listen to him. And for a few seconds, he, he said nothing. And then suddenly, I felt his hand on me, literally tickling me. And I was like, you know how you want to, what's going on? Then you start laughing. I started laughing. And I laughed and laughed and laughed and laughed. And like, Lord, look, look, look. I, I, I wanted to stop laughing. But the more I said, Lord, can you stop this? I continued laughing. And I laughed and laughed and laughed and laughed and laughed. And then when I was done laughing, I heard the Lord say, so where's all the anger now? It was gone. <laughs> it's gone. It was all gone. <laughs> I said, whoa. Yes. And I said, so what, what do you want me to do about this situation? And I said, Lord, I'm fine. I'm fine. That thing has no power over me praise god i was restored to joy now so when i was praying that, that was the experience that came to my memory and that's why i said lord do it yourself i just want the lord to restore joy he knows how to do it praise god i'm telling you you know what he does he strengthens you to that point that you look back at the situation and say how could i have, how how could that thing ever get to me how, how did it happen i told you on monday if your strength is small, you will fail. It's not the obstacle that was too big. It was your strength that was small. So what do you do? Get strengthened. 
listen i'm going to be sharing with you today because the year is ending tomorrow praise god Woo! 2020 is ending tomorrow now listen to me listen i want to get myself how, how do i fix my year how do i get um how, what, you know sometimes people ask this especially seasons seasons like this people ask all this kind of what is that thing i should do that everything will just start working properly let me tell you this this the best thing you can do for yourself is to hear god it doesn't matter where you are it doesn't matter what situation you are faced with it doesn't matter how deep in the pit you are right now it doesn't matter how much in debt you are how do you come out this is the one tablet that works for every situation and what is it your ability to hear the voice of god and when you hear him you obey you see whatever situation you are in right now didn't happen or didn't come to god as a surprise that's one thing you must know God will never allow you to get into a situation that you say, Lord, I'm deep in this mess. And God will now say, hmm, angels, what do we do about this guy now? This mess is too deep. Come on. <laughs> no way. He has put the edge around you. Now, 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 you know, sometimes people say, no, if you know what I have done, let me tell you this truth. As long as there is breath in your nostrils, you haven't done that thing. See, <laughs> the day you cross that line, you will even be alive to talk about it. As long as there is breath in your nostrils, if all you can even do right now as you're hearing me is, Lord, have mercy on me. It, it changes everything. But you know, like he said in Romans, how can they call on him whom they have not heard? Or they don't believe it. So when you ask him for mercy, do you believe he has the ability to give you mercy? So I said, no matter what you are right now, the best antidote, the best thing you can do for yourself is to present yourself to hear his voice. And it changes everything. That is one rule that fits all. Hear him concerning that situation. What, when he tells you what to do, obey him i don't say go to a prophet to hear him for yourself for for you i didn't say go pay someone you know come and fast to me and tell me what the lord is saying stop those nonsense stop it it is against god's will so what do you mean it's against god's will jesus himself said in john chapter 16 he said in that day you will ask in my name and i will not say that i will pray the father for you so I, I, i'm not going to do that for you why? Is it because the Father Himself loves you? The Father Himself loves you. So God's not going to be dealing with you. 2021, He's not dealing with you with any intermediary. If you see, see, prophecy will fail purposely. Yeah. Prophecies will fail. You know why? Because God is drawing you to himself. And he doesn't want intermediaries. Men will bear witness to what God is doing in your life. But they are not going to turn themselves into your God. So you must, I must tell you what to do. If you have that kind of situation, a kind of relationship like that with anyone, you're in trouble. You need to deal with it. Respect people, honor people. I mean really honor people. But you see, when it comes to your life, <laughs> you've got God and he's the designer of your life and he's the one that should tell you what to do so begin to cultivate that relationship of hearing him now when you hear him you 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 will find witnesses of what God has said to you be in the right environment now listen so how do I get ready how do I get myself in the place of hearing God I want to start hearing God often listen start doing this as soon as you can if you can start it today, good for you. Or now, some of you are already fasting, you know, for the end of the year. Now, what are you doing exactly? 
What are you doing? When you take a fast, for example, when you take a fast, three days fast, one day fast, whatever you're doing, learn this. And not just when you fast, learn to follow certain patterns. If you follow certain patterns, it will be easier for God to visit you. Now, one of the patterns you must learn to follow is the pattern of the watches. I've done a teaching on this also somewhere, you know. The watches, following the pattern of the watches. Now, what do I mean the watches? Now, you know, every first of the month, for example, first of January, we are going to be doing it every first of the month. We, we pray and we fast for 24 hours. Now, that was an instruction the Lord gave us last year. And for as many as will join us, you, you feel free to join us. So we fast for 24 hours. And what do we do within those fasts? We pray at every watch. Now, we pray at 12 midnight. What would I mean every watch? So you have the watches. You have 12 midnight, 3 a.m., 6 a.m., 9 a.m., 12 noon. Those are the kind of, those are what the watches. 12 noon, 3 p.m., 6 p.m., 9 p.m., and then 9 p.m. is the last watch of the 24 hours. Now, you, there are things, instructions God will give to you that, and that's why it takes, the, it takes you being in the presence of God, you being with God for Him to teach you. There are instructions God cannot give you because they will be standing on nothing. Now, like when the Lord told us every first of the month, follow these patterns. What's it saying? Now, I understood immediately because he had taught me concerning the watches previously. At every watch, there is a change of God. Angels change. You see, you know, I told you yesterday about his testimonies. <laughs> Believing his testimony. Now, this is the, this, these are not things I read in a book. I, I read. But these are not things I read in a book. These are things that I learned from the Lord. Hey, but there are books. Yeah, I've seen some of those books. But I'm telling you, I'm telling you this because the Lord taught it to me. Now, the inspiration of that teaching may have come from a book. You understand what I'm saying? So I may see something in the book and say, Whoa, Lord, talk to me about this. Is this true? And then He visits you and He begins to teach you. So when I share it, I'm sharing it because I have heard from the Lord concerning it. So at every watch, there's a change of angels. So that's, that gate of watches, of, of that change, is important that you flow. Now, when you want to get into the place where things begin to work easily for you. You know, so you're having charge over your soul. Yeah. Things begin to work easily for you. I'm telling you the secret. If you learn to pray according to the watches, now, like for example, when we, when we fast and pray on the first of every month, we, we just pray for 40, 40 minutes. Pray for about 40 minutes. Now, as we pray, the Spirit of God gives us instruction concerning the season, concerning the months. And every watch, there's specific instruction that the Lord gives. Now, the moment, now those become laws and testimonies when you keep them throughout that month you're going to experience that, that that's just what it, how it is you're going to experience ease things, things are just going to work out you know for example my wife and i we you see when we want to deal with anything that has to do with finances we know the watch to pray i've always said this the Lord have not told me this is what it is. But I have observed the precepts. I have observed that any time we pray this prayer at this watch, it just happens. And that's the 3 p.m. watch. I'm sharing with you because I'm, say, I'm saying to you, this is what I have, this one secret I have found out to. Maybe you use it for yourself. Oh, praise God. Anything finances we get on that three o'clock watch and say hey, angels on this watch it's like they work in the ministry of finance in heaven <laughs> let's throw in our budgets in this month 
and we see amazing results. So keep the pattern of the watches. If you want to see visitations, that's it. If you want God to visit you, keep the pattern of And don't do it one day and say, I've done it, so let me see what they... I say, keep it. Make it a habit. Make it a habit. You want to pray? Target the watches to pray. You may not do it every day, but at least once a month. And first of the month. Thank you, Holy Spirit. <laughs> My time is up already. I've got to stop here. Praise God. I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow is the last day. Praise God. Bye-bye. <laughs>